What if I told you that a completely new type of turbine could generate electricity at a cost at just 1 to 3 cents per kilowatt hour? Unlike conventional hydropump systems, this new innovation replaces sharp turbine blades with a simple sphere, unlocking new potential to generate electricity in rivers, streams and even wastewater channels where hydropower was previously impossible. In Germany alone, this new technology could provide several terawatts of additional energy each year enough to power up to 3.8 million people. And the best part, the electricity generates is completely reliable and suitable for baseload power. To understand how this technology works, let's take a look at one of the most famous goals in football history, Brazil vs France in 1997. The ball initially appeared to be heading off the target, only to suddenly curve back into the net, stunning players and fans alike. The physics behind this goal holds the key to an entirely new way of generating electricity. The ball followed a curved path due to the Magnus effect, a phenomenon where a rotating object in a fluid flow experiences a force prependectional to its motion. But how does it relate to hydropower? Traditional water turbines has always relied on blade-like structures to capture energy from moving water. Systems like the Pelton turbine or modern propeller-based designs convert the linear motion of water directly into rotational energy. But here is the problem. For over a century, engineers have overlooked one crucial aspect of fluid dynamics, vortex formations. In conventional turbines, turbulent flows are considered energy loss. Engineers have always assumed that this chaotic motion is unusable for energy generation. However, natural water flows, whether in a stream, river or wastewater channels are rarely perfect linear streams, most contain turbulence and irregularities, making them unsuitable for conventional turbines, which also require a relatively high flow speed of at least 1 to 3 meters per second to function efficiently. This is where the Setio Vortex turbine changes everything. Instead of resisting turbulences, the system actively utilizes it, much like a spinning football. The principle behind it is simple. If a rotating ball can create a vortex and curve its trajectory, then a vortex should also be able to introduce rotation to a ball. And that's exactly how this turbine works. Inside the turbine's housing, known as the stator, there is a freely rolling spherical rotor. As the water flows through the system, the geometry and the natural instability of the flow generate cyclic vortices. These vortices cause the sphere to roll along the inner wall of the stator, much like a football flowing a curved path in mid-air. The rolling motion is then converted into electrical energy via a permanent magnetic generator. So why is this turbine a game changer? Firstly, it works in extremely low water speeds, only 0.18 meters per second are required, minimal height differences are needed, it can operate with just one meter of water drop, it can be installed in pipes so even wastewater systems can generate electricity, it's eco-friendly, no sharp blades to harm aqua life, and extremely cost-effective. Electricity at just 1 to 3 cents per kilowatt hours are generated. Now let's talk numbers. The smallest Cetra M500 watt turbine costs between 2800 and 3300 euros and generate around 4380 kilowatt hours per year. Over a lifespan of 10 to 20 years, this results in an electricity cost of just 2.1 to 6.4 cents per kilowatt hour. The larger Cetra L5 kilowatt turbine performs even better, generating power as little as 1.5 to 4.6 cents per kilowatt hour. Of course, installation, maintenance, and permanent costs must also be considered. For small scale hydropower, these additional expenses typically range between 1.5% and 2.5% of the investment cost per year. The annual maintenance costs for the small turbines are 44 euros to 200 euros per year and for the large turbine 300 to 525 euros per year. Even with these costs factored in, the Cetra turbine remains competitive with solar and wind power. In some location, small-scale hydropower is even the cheapest renewable energy source available. Now is this technology perfect? Not quite. One limitation of the Cetra Vortex turbine is its efficiency. 
while conventional hydropower turbines can achieve efficiency rates up to 90%, this sphere turbine only reaches around 55%. But here's why that doesn't matter. This turbine isn't meant to replace conventional hydropower, instead it allows us to harness energy from waterways that would otherwise remain untapped. Streams, low flow rivers and even drainage channels can now be used for electricity generation, where conventional turbines simply wouldn't work at all. As countries look for sustainable energy solutions, small scale hydropower is becoming incredibly important. Technologies like the Setrio Vortex turbine help expand the potential of hydropower, making it more accessible than ever before. But hydropower isn't the only frontier in renewable energy. What if the secret to unlocking unlimited energy lies in magma chambers? A scientist from Iceland has big plans. He wants to dig into magma chambers. Check out this video to see how the future of geothermal energy might work. And for more cool videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.